I believe your record is woefully lacking. And in fact, you have zero aviation safety experience. And I don't believe you'll have the votes for, for confirmation, as you and I visited about earlier this week. Mr. Washington, uh, you've emphasized your time as CEO of the Denver Airport 20 months. Have you ever flown a plane? Thank you for the question, Senator. No, I have never flown a plane. So you weren't a military pilot or a commercial airline pilot? No, Senator. Uh, have you ever worked for an airline? No, Senator. Uh, have you ever worked as an air traffic controller? No, Senator. Have you ever worked for a company that manufactures airplanes? No, Senator. Have you ever worked for a company that fixes airplanes? No, Senator. So for 20 months, you've been char in charge of the Denver airport. Uh, you're in charge of the airport's buildings, correct? Uh, I am in charge of everything that goes on at that airport. Okay. Well, I, I'm not sure that's exactly right. You're, you're in charge of parking at the airport. Is that correct? How many yes, parking sir. spaces are there at the Denver airport? Uh, thousands. Okay. You're in charge of all the shops and restaurants in the airport. How, how many restaurants are there in the Denver airport? Uh, we have anywhere from 150 to 200 or so. Um, you're in charge of coffee shops and clothing stores and newsstands. Um, you're not in charge of the pilots, are you? Uh, no, Senator. Uh, you're not in charge of the airplane mechanics, are you? No, Senator. You're not in charge of the air traffic controllers, are you? No, Senator. You know, I look at prior FAA administrators. You and I talked a couple of days ago. I, I respect your military Sorry. service. I look at prior FAA administrators. Current acting FAA Administrator Billy Nolan was a commercial airline pilot. He worked at multiple airlines and management roles. He has certificates in aviation safety from three different institutions, from the U.S. Army uh, safe, Safety Center and the U.S. Naval Postgraduate School. That's un under President Biden. Administrator Steve Dixon, under both Biden and Trump, was an Air Force fighter pilot, commercial airline pilot, an executive at Delta Airlines, 40 years of aviation experience. Acting Administrator Daniel U uh, Elwell, was an Air Force combat pilot, a commercial airline pilot, a senior FAA official, and an aviation industry executive. Administrator Rad Randy Babbitt was a commercial airline pilot for 25 years and served as the president of a labor union for pilots. Those are all people who know something about aviation and safety. As I look at your record, I see a record where you've got experience with buses, you've got experience with trains. Buses and trains are very different from planes. My understanding is this administration previously considered you for the board of Amtrak. That could well have been a position you were qualified for, and you might well have received bipartisan support to serve in that role. You know, a lot of discussion, quite rightly, has focused on the horrific crashes of the 737 MAX that took 346 souls from us. Let me ask you, Mr. Washington, what is an angle of attack sensor? The angle of attack sensor is a sensor that is on the front of the plane that controls um, uh, the tilt and the uh, altitude of the plane. And, and, and how, many of, how many of them are there on a 737 MAX? I believe two. And what systems are there if there are contradictory singles, signals from the angle of attack sensor? What systems are there? Yeah. Uh, I would say the MCAS system, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, the MCAS system is responsible for the crashes at issue. What happens when you get a different reading from two different sensors? Uh, can you repeat that question, Senator? What happens when you get a different reading from two different angle of attack sensors? Well, I think human uh, reaction needs to take over if that occurs. So why did that not happen on the Lion Air and Ethiopian Air flights? Well, Senator, I'm not a pilot. I don't know if I can answer that particular question. Um, but... Uh, it, Mr. Washington, I, I believe you. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that's the fundamental problem. For this administration to nominate someone as FAA administrator, who can't answer the question, why were 346 people killed in horrific crashes that result in the 737 MAX being grounded for a long time? 
is striking. By the way, Administrator Dixon, after the FAA recertified the 737 MAX, he went and flew it personally. Mm -hmm. Listen, let me be clear, and I, you and I talked about this. FAA Administrator is a specialized position. I'm not qualified to be FAA Administrator. I have no idea how to fly a plane. No one in their right mind would put me in charge of aviation safety because I don't have that experience. I suspect most of the members of this committee are in a similar position. The American people, when they think about aviation safety, when they think about, I played in this committee, a Southwest Airlines and FedEx uh, plane almost colliding in, uh, at Austin's airport, they want an FAA administrator who knows why those planes crash and knows how to fix it to keep them safe. And with all respect, Mr. Washington, it gives no comfort to the flying public that their pilot might be a, a transgendered witch but doesn't actually know how to prevent the plane from crashing into the ground and killing them. I believe your record is woefully lacking. And in fact, you have zero aviation safety experience. And I don't believe you'll have the votes for, for confirmation as you and I visited about earlier this week. First round of questioning, we had a lot of discussions about your lack of experience with aviation safety. But there is another concern that is front and center for this committee because you're the first nominee I can recall who is currently entangled in an ongoing public corruption investigation right now while your nomination is pending. This investigation involves an alleged pay-to-play contracting scheme that resulted in LA Metro giving $800,000 in no-bid contracts to a politically connected charity called Peace Over Violence, or POV, to run a sexual harassment hotline that was hardly ever used. A whistleblower has alleged, among other things, that when you were the LA Metro CEO, you pushed forward these questionable contracts in order to stay in the good graces of a powerful politician on the LA Metro board. Last December, you told the New York Times, quote, when I pursued the job in Denver for the airport, much thanks to the credit of the Denver City Council, they looked into all of this and debunked it all, so I would ask Congress to do the same. Mr. Washington, do you still want Congress to look into these allegations? I have nothing to hide, Senator. Okay, good. Well, we are looking into them. Even though you say that the Denver City Council debunked it all, the LA Sheriff's Office determined that these allegations had merit. In fact, last sept September, the Sheriff's Office executed a criminal search warrant at LA Metro's headquarters based on these allegations. And you were named in that search warrant, not once, not twice, but numerous times. The search warrant authorizes the sheriff's office to seize emails and other communications between you and other individuals involved in the investigation. But that's not all. The search warrant also includes specific allegations that you personally engaged in misconduct. For example, here on page 24 of the search warrant, the warrant says that a witness stated that, quote, although there was no legitimate reason for Metro to outsource such a service to POV, in a sole source contract, the contract was pushed forward by CEO Philip Washington in order to remain in good graces with Supervisor Sheila Cool. As a reminder, POV is a charity that received $800,000 in a no bid contract to run a hotline for LA Metro that was hardly ever used. And Sheila Kuhl is a powerful politician on LA Metro's board who was longtime friends with the head of POV. The California Attorney General's office is now leading the investigation into this public corruption scheme. Mr. Washington, have you spoken with the California Attorney General's office about the status of their investigation? No, I have not, Senator. Well, the Republican committee staff did last week. Uh, we reached out to the California Attorney General's office to inquire on the status of the investigation, and the Attorney General's office said that there is an ongoing criminal investigation into this matter and the staff said in particular that you have a, quote, material involvement in the case. And that the investigation is months away from being completed. That's all bad enough, but even more amazingly, the staff at the Attorney General's office told us that at that time, they were not aware of anybody from the White House, from the FBI, or from the Senate who had contacted them about their ongoing public corruption investigation 
where you have material involvement. Now, that is remarkable. I understand the chairwoman has subsequently spoken with the California Attorney General's office. But at the time, nobody had talked to them, according to the AG's office. That is remarkable. And it is more than a little troubling. I think it's fair to say California sheriffs, the L.A. sheriff, and the California attorney general are not Republicans. They're not right-wing activists with an ax to grind. And the fact that this corruption case is ongoing, it's truly remarkable that this committee is considering confirming a nominee in the middle of an ongoing investigation for public corruption. And I am hard pressed to think of anything more damaging to the FAA than not only confirming someone who is not qualified and has no experience in aviation safety, but secondly, doing so while a public corruption case is ongoing, which according to the terms of the search warrant implicates you directly. And if, if, it, if it so happened that you ended up indicted as a result of this ongoing investigation, I don't know if that will happen or not, the investigation needs to conclude. What sort of damage would it do to the FAA to have the administrator indicted on public corruption? Well, a couple of things, uh, Senator. Yeah, and please respond. To oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, that particular contract was initiated before I arrived at Metro. Uh, there has been no findings of wrongdoing by me. Uh, I stand by the work that was done in this contract uh, to... Are, are you saying the search warrant is wrong? When it says th these are the allegations of the search warrant that Philip Washington pushed it forward? Uh, that is wrong. That is false. Uh, I never talked with anyone about that, uh, that contract. Uh, this was done uh, with a uh, delegation of authority uh, to... Uh, my uh, department heads, uh, but the allegations are false. Uh, and uh, I talked to no one. Uh, you mentioned super, former supervisor Sheila Kuehl. I never talked to her about the contract. Okay. But the AG investigation is not concluded. Is that correct? No one has talked to me from the AG office. No one has called me from the sheriff office. No one has contacted me about this case at all. Okay. Thank you.